AutoCAD 2012 for Mac includes a number of features designed to help you use the program more intuitively. Almost all the best time-saving tools from the Windows version of AutoCAD are also available here on the Mac. First, there are many different ways to access commands in AutoCAD for Mac. You can use the tool sets or menu bar, or you can type the command name at the command line or dynamic input field. If you choose to type, you'll notice that as you type, AutoCAD for Mac provides a list of commands and system variables that match the characters you've entered. Keep typing, and the list is refined to match the new string. The first item in the list can be selected by pressing Enter, but you can also use the arrow keys or the mouse to select an item from the list. Another way to quickly access commands is with grips. Grips are the small blue squares that you see when you select objects. Hover your cursor over some of these grips, and a pop-up menu appears with the functions that apply to that particular grip. For example, you can use the grip at the end of a line to stretch it or lengthen it. With an arc, the center grip can be used to stretch the arc's midpoint or to change its radius. Other objects with these multifunctional grips include dimensions, multiliters, hatch objects, and polylines. After you choose an option from the multifunctional menu, you can cycle between the other functions by pressing the control key. You can also use the space bar to cycle between the regular grip modes, stretch, move, rotate, scale, and mirror. There's one more way that AutoCAD 2012 for Mac puts the commands you need, where you need them, when you need them, contextual visors. When you start the hatch command, a visor appears at the top of the drawing window with all the settings you can control when creating a hatch, from pattern and color through angle, scale, and boundary options. The same visor is displayed when you select a completed hatch, enabling you to quickly make modifications as needed. Hatches aren't the only objects with contextual visors. You'll also see them for external references, associative arrays, and when working in a layout. 